When we see that little gecko, or I guess it's a chameleon logo, we're usually talking about one of Brooks adapters that allow you to use Xbox controllers on PlayStation, PlayStation controllers on Switch, modern controllers on retro consoles, basically hundreds of first and third party controllers on pretty much whatever platform you want. But Brooke just dropped a set of cans and not just a respectable set of cans, but actually very impressive. Now, while these cans aren't gonna go toe to toe or plastic to plastic, niblet to niblet, USB port to USB port, I guess, with something like my daily driver, the Astro A50s or the flagship offering from SteelSeries. However, those headsets are in excess of $300 and these head pillows are 85 bucks on Amazon. We're gonna review Brooks wireless headset on a multitude of categories, including its microphone, comfort, audio quality, warranty, and a slew of other categories. Let's get it. Quick disclaimer for my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, these headphones were sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. I haven't been paid or told to say anything about them, so if there's any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it, so these companies make better products over time. A quick summary of what we're dealing with today, it is a wireless headset, it doesn't have to be wireless, you can rock it wired, but uh, generally, if you buy a wireless headset, that's the configuration you're going to run it in. A brand new set of cans, the only headset from Brook, who generally makes adapters. This is an $85 headset with compatibility for PS4. 5, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Mac OS. With headsets and controllers, one platform's always got to have its cheese out in the breeze, i.e. not supported. In this case, it's going to be the Xbox One series, which I did test the dongle, even though it wasn't listed on their website. I did plug it into the suck hole on the front of my Series S and X. Neither of them worked. However, the Windows 11 PC, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch, no issues there. Well, one issue when you try and rock wired, but if you're buying a wireless headset, again, you're probably not going to use it wired, but uh, we'll just get that out of the way now, you cannot use the microphone when plugged in wired to the bottom of your controller. But again, it would defeat the whole purpose of buying a wireless headset to be tethered or wired with a cord or cable, especially considering the dongle is low latency. These are rocking 50 millimeter drivers, which is quite standard. 40 or 50 millimeter drivers is usually what you're going to see in consumer grade wireless and wired for that matter headphones. Detachable foam ear pads. You love to see this because you can replace them. They're modular. You don't have to yank them out and super glue in some generic options from Amazon. They're detachable. You can get replacements if they get gummed up or something. Detachable and adjustable mic. I love detachable microphones. The ones that flip up to mute are okay, but they're always there out of my peripherals. I can always see them and it slightly bothers me. When they're detachable, it obviously completely removes and it's out of your vision. I love that. How does it sound? Well, you're going to have to wait to the audio test to hear that, that the lighting that you PC gamers know and love because it adds frames per second to your rig and, and, and inches to the old ego, ego, waffle. Scrolling to the bottom of the landing page, if you do want that digital instruction manual, click on user guide. It will come out as a PDF document, which I have downloaded, scanned with an antivirus program. It's, it's, she's clean. I'd lay with her, wouldn't think twice of it. Alt tab over to that page. This is an actually pretty good laid out manual. You don't need this though. You're watching a video, pictures worth a thousand words, videos worth a million. That's how many views Views we're going to get on this video. The price is $85 on their website as well as Amazon. I would recommend going through Amazon because you have that additional layer of customer support with their no questions asked return policy, two day prime shipping. Oh, this does not have prime shipping. It would be here in seven days, so that's not bad. Probably quicker than going through the website. As with all Brook products, this headset does include a one year limited warranty. What is it limited to? You're not choking out your younger brother with the USB C cable, using it as a frisbee for, with your dog or anything like that. Limited to not being an idiot, generally manufacture defects or something on their end. As for the packaging and included accessories, the box is a pullout or slide out. It's a futon, basically a sofa. If you want to pause the screen to read some of the key features on the box, you may do so now. Too late. The inner box will have more of that purple branding, Brooks logo, as well as their slogan, your game, our play. Some more of the key features or selling factors of this headset on the side. Cool. So the center divider actually kind of doubles as a stand. You're probably not going to set this out on your desk. It is cardboard and I don't think it's really meant to be used as a long-term stand. It'd be a little tacky, but it works as a stand and it holds your headset up and then your included accessories are going to be in the center section you're going to have one piece of documentation which is your instruction manual and then you're going to have one two three four five baggies i'm going to remove these things from their bags bam you're a wizard harry 
That happened instantaneously. It wasn't, you know, two minutes of me off screen tearing through bags or anything like that. I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view, a hawk's angle, if you will. You're gonna have your instruction manual, pamphlet, or brochure, which does open up map style, has multiple languages, and this is identical to the software or digital version online. You're gonna have a very short USB-A to USB-C charging cable, just rubber, not braided or microfiber. You are gonna have the detachable microphone with a 3.5 millimeter input, and it does have an included pre-installed dust cover, which I would recommend having that little wind sock or con them on. Just realized I wasn't really centered. I was over here in the corner. A little bit squeaky. Sounds like a Motel 6 mattress moving this thing around. <laughs> it doesn't really do it anymore. Now it's already kind of broken in. Just those initial bends because it's a brand new mic wand. But once you bend it around, now she's quiet. Just had to break her in. You're going to have a very nice included carrying bag. Note I said bag, not hard case or clamshell or anything like that. But it is a very nice high quality bag. I don't know if this is like pleather or some kind of a synthetic leather. That's exactly what it feels like with the Brook logo on there. Mm, has a good smell to it as well. Nice aroma on the nostrils. This is a nice little little baggie for it. Keep all your accessories in there. What accessories? Well, you're going to have your 2.4 gigahertz dongle, which will plug into your PS4 or 5 console or your PC. Then you're going to have this audio jumper 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter. Then you are going to have two included ear cups, which I couldn't believe an $85 wireless headset comes with a second pair of detachable ear cups, and they are quite easy to detach. I'll show you in just a hot tick. Now, this is very nitpicky. This is a gripe, but it would be nice if these two ear cups were different versions. If this was a mesh breathable material and the ones pre-installed on the headset were these synthetic pleather leatherette material, then it's going to give you more of a sealed close back experience, sealing in more of the sound, but potentially making your ears a little hotter and sweatier than mesh versions. But that's totally nitpicky, and I'm very thankful that there is a second set included for when these get gummed up or janky. That's for the cosmetics or appearance of this headset. I think it is a very good looking headset, not just in the $85 price point, this entry wireless segment, but period. I really appreciate that Brooke didn't slather this thing with lime green or royal blue or fire red, depending on what platform it's authorized for. It's just matte black, looks very nice. This purple stitching along the headband looks very tasteful, very classy. This is a good looking headset in my opinion, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. As for ports, plugs, and controls, you do have a 3.5 millimeter connector at the bottom. I like to see this because some wireless headsets are completely doing away with having a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is uh, unfortunate. I don't know why I was pointing over here. This is the 3.5 millimeter aux out. This is your microphone input. This is the power button, which you will hold on for a few seconds to power on the headset. Just by quickly pressing it, we'll do a battery check to show you the status of the battery, in this case red, which means low. However, if you hold it down, that will turn the headset on. You'll get a little chime or chirp inside of the headset, an auditory cue, and then the RGB will glow or roar to life. It looks a lot cooler without the light. Slick. Then you'll have your mic mute button. You will get an auditory chirp in the headset, but there will be no visible light on the headset to let you know visually that you are muted. But on console and even with a lot of PC launchers, when you mute a headset, it will have a little notification or pop-up letting you know that your headset is muted. And of course your upward and downward volume controls. As for size adjustment, it does ratchet up and down on each side with distinct steps. This is plastic, this is metal. That shouldn't be an issue in long-term use. This actually feels pretty sturdy. Just be careful with these exposed loose wires. Here. As for replacing the ear cups, it is extremely easy, but not the easiest. I like the ones that are magnetized and simply snap on. These ones, you actually have to get them started around a little plastic lip or trough, and then you slip this in and you'll line up the holes. I'm not going to do it here because they're the same exact model. So it's not like I'm testing a mesh breathable version and then a closed leather version. They're the same ear cups. Manufacturer's weight and dimension is going to be popping up on screen here, but that's just specs. That's just numbers on a tech sheet. As far as the actual comfort, not really ergonomic. Ergonomics, uh, that's more of uh, my controller reviews. But as far as comfort on your noggin, that's going to come down to three factors. That's going to be clamping pressure around your temples, the comfort of the headband on the top of your skull, and then the ear cups, things like breathability. Do your ears get hot and sweaty in long gaming sessions? Let's pop these cans on. The headset is quite comfortable and that comes down to a couple of factors. First of all, it is very lightweight and that is definitely noticeable as you move this headset around. It doesn't have a lot of weight to sling around and there is virtually no clamping pressure around my temples. The head strap is actually very comfortable and so are the ear cups. Comfort is very good. The only thing to make note of with these sealed ear cups that are completely sealed off, your ears are basically marinating in there. They get nice and hot and sticky and sweaty in there as opposed to something like those mesh breathable. You know what? Why? Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, these both have mesh ear cups. 
ones. But the sealed off leather ones are nice as well. Definitely seals in more of the sound so people in the room don't hear what you're listening to and you hear more of that sound. But your ears get sweaty in the long gaming sessions. So it really is a give and take. These are hella comfortable, 4.5 out of five. As for the ear cups, they're also a joy in the fact that there's a second set included. Very squishy, but yet snap back to their original position. Stitching looks fine on them. And the fact they're swappable is cool, but it's not really quick release or anything. They don't turn and pop off or there's no magnet system. They're just kind of wedged on this little lip or trough, which are easy to get off, but a bitch to get the other set on. That's kind of a pain in the rump, four out of five. As for the microphone, it is detachable, which I like. The flip up to mute mics are okay. However, having a microphone fully detachable gets it out of your peripheral vision completely and just gets it off the headset when you're not using it. Another thing I genuinely like about this microphone is how flexible it is. You can position this anywhere you want and it's also long enough to where if you have, well, a long jawline, a long face, you can get this mic out in front of you right where your suck hole is so you have actual good audio quality because you kind of get that proximity effect that the mic is close to your mouth, not hella far picking up your room sounds. But how does the mic actually sound? Audio check coming at you. This is an audio test of the included microphone on the Brook headset. Guess I don't need this on my face then. Now this USB dongle isn't really plug and play because once you plug it in the PC, nothing is happening until you hold down the mic mute button for five seconds and that is going to pair to the dongle. Now you only need to do this once, but if you don't read the instruction manual and you're thinking, hey, I plugged it in, why is it not working? You gotta pair them. How's the mic sound? How about without the windsock? So not bad, but it is a built-in microphone on a headset. On console, you're probably gonna be using this, but if you're on PC, you have the option of running a boom arm or a desk stand. Don't have a desk stand for your microphone, but a boom arm with a separate dedicated mic, which of course I recommend. But this will get you through in a pinch. It didn't sound bad. I'm gonna give the mic a four out of five. Now as for build quality, they feel more like $130, $140 pair of headphones. There is no creaks or moans and groans in this headset. Everything feels very well buttoned down. There's no weird panel gap or crazy seams. Stitching on the head strap looks good. I'm gonna give build quality a 4.5 out of five. This thing feels buttoned down. One of the things I'm not too fond of with this headset is the volume control is separate from Windows 10, so you have two different volumes to balance. You have the slider inside of Windows, which you probably want to keep at 100%, and then be able to reach up to your headset and adjust the output that way. However, I love when headsets take full control over the audio output of Windows 10 or 11. It's not the case here. As for battery life with this headset, three to four hours of charge time is going to get you 10 to 12 hours of play time. And guess what? If there was software control to be able to dim or turn off the RGB lighting, you could squeeze out even more battery life. But this is decent performance for a wireless headset. Now, this headset doesn't have any support for virtual surround sound such as Dolby Atmos or Dirac. However, you will be able to use Windows Sonic on Windows 10 or 11 PCs in order to make sure that's engaged in the bottom right. Click on the little speaker icon and click on sound settings. Click on the headset, which is again labeled generically. I wish it was labeled as Brook, but hey, whatever. Make sure this is engaged, device default effects. And by default, this tab is going to be selected to off. These are virtual surround technologies. Windows Sonic is baked into Xbox One and series consoles, as well as Windows 10 and 11 PCs. But Windows Sonic sounded the best for gameplay to give you stereo spread, situational awareness of where enemies are, and for multimedia playback such as video and music, DTS Headphone X is pretty sick. Now on to the cons, pros, and verdicts. We're going to start with the shortcomings or areas of improvement. The fact that you cannot use the built-in headset while you are wired via that 3.5 millimeter jack is kind of whack, for lack of a better word. One huge con is that you cannot dim or turn off the RGB lighting, or if you can, there is nothing in the instruction manual, both the physical one from the box as well as the software one on their website. But that's identical. The PDF document was the same, but since there is no software app or program that you can install to take control of the equalizer, or in this case, the RGB lighting, the lights are always going to be on. Now you're not going to see it because, well, the cans are strapped to your head and they're not so disorientingly bright that it's going to be glowing off the side of your head or anything. But if you are a streamer or YouTuber, you're definitely going to see that logo on screen. And if you didn't want that captured on camera, you can't dim it or change the color or anything like that. Next up, the fact that these headphones aren't really plug and play. When you plug in the dongle with every other wireless headset, they basically just roar to life and takes over the active output of your PC. However, with these ones, you also have to hold down the mic mute button for five seconds to pair them up. So it'd be great if they could streamline that process with the dongle on the next version, next headset. As for the pros, this headset is freakishly comfortable. I didn't find my ears getting sweaty or hot. Very comfortable ear cups. Tons of adjustability in the head strap, although I have a small noggin, so I pretty much have it at its smallest setting. The onboard microphone is decent. That's the most you're going to get out of a headset is, is decent audio quality. Build quality felt great, not just for the $85 price point, but even compared to some higher end headsets that I've tested. Cosmetically, I think the headset looks good, minus the RGB, which can't be turned off. I think it looks cool, the logo and all. I just wish you could dim it or turn it off. The removable ear cups are fantastic, and the fact you have a second set for when the first ones get all gummed up, the audio quality, it sounds
sounded damn good with no virtual surround as well as window sonic. I had great situational awareness, great stereo spread of where enemies were, not just left and right, but also above and below, front to back. It sounded great. And the biggest pro, in my opinion, is going to be the multi-platform support. The fact that you can plug that dongle into PS4, 5, Nintendo Switch. How's it plug into the Switch? Into the side of the dock, obviously, silly. Windows 10 or 11 PC or Mac, so plenty of support. And this headset works with Xbox, but only wired, so I'm probably not going to pick this up with all the other wireless Xbox headsets you could get. But if you're on any of the other platforms, this has multi-platform support. So you get one headset and you can use it across all your devices. That's pretty sweet. This headset is linked in the description below. Drop in the comment section below what headset you've been rocking on whatever platform you're gaming on, and I'll see you stallions and stallionettes tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of gamer heaven join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where i go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my ph balance is on point just kidding starting june i'm going to be live streaming a lot thanks for watching this has been ak40 kevin hosting gamer heaven and i'll see you tomorrow because i upload daily all the time 60 percent of the time sometimes most of the time peace